Welcome, this is Kakuli Tishri reporting today's news. Roads we were presented to DMC, not finding much use on the roads of Dimapur, realizing the necessity towards improving strategy and methods in cleaning the urban areas of Dimapur, which has been adjudicated among the district city twice, the Dimapur Municipal Council, DMC, had highlighted how lack of proper drainage, machinery, sufficient public space and other basic civil amenities have put a roadblock on carrying out their civil duties. A low passage of medicines transportation and DMA appeals SAPO. The Nagaland Medical Dealer Association, NDMA, had appealed the Southern Angami Public Organization, SAPO, to allow passage of medicines transportation to Manipur. The NDMA, while understanding the sentiments of SAPO, requested the organization to allow passage of medicines transportation to the other state in midst of the indefinite bond and to consider movement of vehicles pertaining to essentials and life-saving medicines stated in a press conference from the Assam Association. Petrol price hiked 50 paise, diesel up 5.5 paise, petrol now over rupees 100 a litre across Nagaland. Petrol price was hiked on Sunday by 50 paise a litre and diesel by 55 paise, taking the total increase in rates since resumption of daily price revision less than a week back to rupees 3.70 to 3.75 per litre. Two-day chaka bond in Assam. Mokokchung Police issues advisory with the Assam Motor Workers Association, AMWA, imposing a two-day chaka bond for March 27th. The Mokokchung Police has advised Nagaland bond travellers to avoid travelling in Assam until the bond is called off by the association. During the bond period, all types of public transport, including buses and taxi, will remain off the road. It was stated by a travel advisory and issued by the additional superintendent of police and PRO, Mokokchung. Naga Hoho condemns Minister Timjan Imna Along's statement. Taking strong exemption to Nagaland, Minister Timjan Imna Along's recent statement regarding the Naga political issue on the floor of the State Assembly, the Naga Hoho issues a statement on Sunday. CNSA asks organizations not to misinterpret ministers Imna Along's statement raising concerns over the condemnation issues by various groups and organizations related to the statement of Minister Imna Along in the recent concluded assembly session. The Central Nagaland Students Association, CNSA, on Sunday stated that the minister has quoted the statement of the Union of Home Minister of the Government of India and not his personal statement. T. Senka Ao, honored with Padma Shri Award for Literature and Education. Sri T. Senka Ao was awarded the Padma Shri Award on March 28 by President of India Ram Nath Kovind for his contribution in the field of literature and education. Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Y. Peton has sought to sanction an amount of Rs 15 lakh to 20 lakh for the construction of a road leading to the campus of St. Joseph University, Chumakidima, by June this year. Nagaland Students' Union Bangalore, NSUB, has elected its new Executive Council for the year 2022-2023 with Topolu Dumai and G. Ruth Gonmai as President and General Secretary respectively, along with five other members and two advisors. UP Teen, who sold veggies, now set for archery. 19-year-old Niraj Trohand sold vegetables on roadside due to financial hardships during COVID-19. His father, Akshalal Trohan, who worked as a cook in Mirut Kailash Prakash Stadium, lost his job at the height of the pandemic. Niraj is now qualified to represent India in the Archery World Cup. Invigilators suspended over hijab. Many girls denied entry into halls. The hijab bro continued to manifest in various ways across Karnataka as an invigilator for wearing the headscarf as well as arguing with exam authorities to allow Muslim girls to wear the hijab and enter the classrooms. Oscars make history for right and wrong reasons. Just as the 2022 Oscars will be remembered for Culture's Award, it will also live in the ignominy of being the first ever to witness a live on-stage physical confrontation that resulted in Will Smith slapping comedian Chris Rock 
when the latter made a joke about Smith's wife. A historic moment of recognition for Network 18 and Harpik India for its mission, Pani, won the best media initiative in the kind presence of the Honorable President of India. India registers 1,259 new COVID-19 cases, 35 deaths, and 1,705 recoveries in the last 24 hours. Active cases now stands at 15,378. Today's Roundup News, Kakuluchi reporting for Dimapur Today.